Now that we've seen what our operations are, let's try and see if we can combine our ideas that we did in our first two examples with the, that operation union that we looked at before. So let's see what the set A is. A is the set of Y that are natural numbers that are greater than five and multiples of four. So A is the set greater than five and multiples of four. That'll be eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. B is the set of x squared plus 2x plus 1, where x comes from the natural numbers. It's a weird way to write it, but I want to show this notation. Sometimes you write the formula and then say where the variables come from in this notation. Or, like in the first one, you say where the variables come from and then explain what they satisfy. Both of those are completely valid notations. So, if we look at what are the elements of B, I'm going to do this off to the side. The first element of the natural numbers is 0. So you have 0 squared plus 2 times 0 plus 1, which is 1. You then have 1 squared plus 2 times 1 plus 1, which is 4. You then have 2 squared plus 2 times 2 plus 1, which is 9. You then have 3 squared plus 2 times 3 plus 1. That's 9 plus 7. That's 16. We then have 4 squared plus 2 times 4 plus 1. That's 16 plus 9. That's a 25. So interestingly, it looks like that set might just be the set of proper squares beyond, uh, beyond 0. So... Maybe it is. I'll let you figure out if it is or not. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. And then we want to find the union of those. So A union B. Remember that the order of this set doesn't actually matter. But we were asked for the five smallest elements. So I'm going to look at these and count them off. So the smallest element between either of them is 1 and then 4 and then 8, and then 9, and then 12, and then 16 is in both, so that gets put down, then 20, then 24, then 25, and so on. The order doesn't matter, though. I could have theoretically written that as 16, 4, 8, 25, 24. The order does not matter. However, we were asked for the five smallest elements, which are 1, 4, 8, 9, and 12. So... I wrote it in sort of ascending order here to make sure that I included everything that I needed to. Again, the order does not matter, but this problem wanted the smallest numbers. So I did care about writing down the order in some sense, but that wasn't because of the set. It was because the problem asked for the smallest numbers.